function, we could focus on the quadratic function. And the best way to approach this is by finding the vertex. So to find the vertex, we do the opposite of b over 2a. So that means we're going to do the opposite of negative 8 divided by 2 times a, which is 2. So we're going to get x is equal to 8 over 4, which is 2. Then once we plug this back in, we're going to get y is equal to 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 3. So when we simplify this, what we're going to get is 8 minus 16 plus 3. We're going to get y is equal to negative 5. So the vertex for the parabola is going to be at 2, negative 5. So we could plot that next point. Now what we want to do is at least get two more points for the parabola. So we're going to do when x is 3 and x is 4. So once we start simplifying, this is what we're going to have. So we're going to have 18 minus 24 plus 3. So y is equal to negative 3. We're talking about the order pair 3, negative 3. So once we plot that, that point's going to be right here. And just remember, there's another point on the opposite side of the axis of symmetry that's going to be, that's going to match that point. Now, if we do the same thing, for when x is 4, this is what we should have. So we're going to have 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 minus 32 plus 3. So y is equal to 3. So our last ordered pair is 4, 3. So that's going to be right here. And then remember, we have another point that's adjacent to it on the opposite side of the axis of symmetry. Now, once we connect these points for our parabola, we're now able to answer the question. And what they're asking us is determine the x values for where these two functions are going to be the same. And that is when x is equal to 0. And when x is equal to positive 3, this is when they intersect.